All right, guys. We know the Red Cat Shredder. We know the Red Cat Shredder, the tires suck ass. It's not necessarily the tire itself. I mean, the rubber's pretty good. The shape's pretty good. I have not really seen people breaking this. This is actually beadlock. It's the foam inside. I um, I did the old acetone bath and I got the wheels off. And when I get the foam out, it'll blow your mind. At least it blew my mind. So this one, I've trimmed the foam. The, tr the foam is gigantic and it's stiff. So I trimmed a lot of it and now it feels a lot better. I also uh, taped the inside because why not if you have the tire off, right? And then just re-glued it. re -glued this, put this little bead lock back on. Hopefully this will be good. I can't grab like this because I taped it. So they won't balloon. So I'm gonna try it to the rest of the three and then um, try and test these out, see if it helps. If it don't, these are just gonna go in the trash. I hate to throw away nice, good tires, but this is my last resort. So I'll show you what I'm doing. I was able to get the front off, not the back, but that's okay. I, I, I got some of the back. It just comes off and you do the uh, acetone in the bucket for three days. So, just like the other one, I'm gonna fold this out. And then you see this gigantic foam. That's a huge bitch! Look at the size of this foam. Why is this so big? Look how much bigger it is than the actual rim. This is what makes them so stiff, shoving this foam in here. Then when they put the tire on, it's so big, it's just lopsided in some spots. So I'm gonna cut this down so my tires feel nice and smooth, like Kaiju tires. And then I'm gonna take this, still on the rim on one side, I'm just gonna leave it there. I am not a professional. I am just doing this for fun. Obviously it's a hobby, but I mean this, this job, I'm probably doing it wrong, and I don't care. All right, so I am going to measure this and cut this much off, the same length of the rim. I need some sidewall flex, not sidewall stiff. Okay, so about here is super thick foam, and I am gonna cut this much all the way around. This is very thick. And when you shove it inside a wheel, not to mention this way and that way, no wonder. That's one piece off, holy cow. Now what I did was, oh, let me get that little piece, it just it bothers me. Okay, I turn this around inside out and I cut piece, periodic pieces, like, kind of like rock crawlers do. So I'll get back. Guys, look at all the foam I've cut from this. One wheel. That's what I end up with. <laughs> Try not to laugh too hard. This is just an experiment. Do you see how thin it is now? Well, let's put it on the... Still tight. Look. That's the tire, not the wheel. Now the wheel compresses. Let's get some tape on this. I do not treat this as a science like some people do. I put a piece in the middle. And this is just like a industrial duct tape. Strong, super strong. Okay, overlap just a little. Pull the sides over. I 
Okay, and because I went crazy with the other tire and put wrap went around three times, I went a little far over here. I have to do it with this one, at least keep them somewhat balanced. By the way, I tried to bake these. I tried all kinds of crap. But baking, all it does, I feel like it took years off my life. I feel like it was, it stunk so bad and it didn't even work. I probably didn't do it long enough, but it stunk too bad. I didn't care. So we got some acetone and I already had a bucket and wow, it works. Just give it time. <clears throat> I was just running the shredder with the Kaiju tires in the meantime. I actually have some cheap monster truck tires coming. Then I'm going to do a review on. They are, well, you'll see. $20 monster truck tires. All right, that's good enough. Just put this foam on. My modified super high performance. Oh my god, I'm gonna get this back over. Super high performance. Oh shit, how did I do this? Two hours later. This table sucks. Oh, gotta bend these back. It's even tougher with the tape now. Come on, bitch. Okay. Almost there. All right, get back around. There we go. Now see how the foam bunched up just, and I even cut it that much. I guarantee you, there's enough, nothing here. I guarantee you, they just left it like that and just glued it. China, whoever the hell made these tires. All right, put the foam back where it belongs. This is how I did it, I'm gonna glue it with the B locks on. I have two more to do, and then I'll come back to you after when we test it on the shredder.